good afternoon or evening. Uh, God laid something on my heart as I come was coming home from work just a few minutes ago, and that's you know it's Easter time that uh, and we all will, Lord willing, we all will put on our pretty outfits or or new, women will put their new dresses on, and men will put suits on and ties and and be shined up, and their children will all be have the new clothes on, and that's just a beautiful time, man, I think, to see all the pretty things. Women, some women will wear bonnets or whatever else, and and we'll go into God's house on, on Sunday and, and celebrate the, the resurrection of, of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's a good time, and, and, and people will go there, and some will go there, and it'll be the only time, maybe Christmas and Easter is the only time they're in church. And they're here to preach or preach the Word of God, and then they're leave feeling good about themselves that they've been in God's house. But you know, what God wanted me to tell people today is that uh, Sunday, Easter, represents the resurrection of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that the Apostle Paul, I believe it was one, said that without the resurrection, man would be most hopeless. And Paul was talking to, to the saved, those who are redeemed through the blood of the Lamb, that Without the resurrection, then we'd be most hopeless because being saved and then dying and going into the grave, what would we have looked forward to other than rotting in the grave? But God wanted me to tell the lost soul something, too, is that because Jesus Christ was resurrected and because Satan could not keep Jesus in the grave, because you see Jesus died on the cross of Calvary so that our sins could be forgiven, but the key thing for Satan was to try to keep Jesus in the grave, but he couldn't do it. He couldn't keep Jesus in the grave. The Bible teaches me that when Jesus was placed into the borrowed tomb, that after the stone was rolled in front of it, that he entered into the, the, the gates of hell to show Satan that he couldn't keep him down and that, that he had won the victory over death, hell, and the grave. And that one day when he came back on the came back as king of kings and lords of lords and, and the final judgment that Satan would be cast into the lake of far. But you see the resurrection God wants me to talk to you about for just for a few minutes for the lost souls is that the resurrection, the great white throne of judgment that the book of Revelation talks about, that's when death, hell, and the grave shall give up their dead. And the dead he's talking about are those who have never accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior and that they shall be judged. That they shall be judged. And the only real judgment will be was is that they turned away Jesus Christ as their Savior. And they shall be cast in the lake of fire to burn for eternity. You see, Paul said without the resurrection, man would be most hopeless. But I'm going to tell you something today. That if you're lost and undone without the Lord Jesus Christ, that the best that you can hope for is somehow Satan's going to figure out how to stop the resurrection of, of, the, of the saints and of the lost and, and the end time. Because I'm going to tell you something. The only hope that you've got is Satan can stop the resurrection of yours and that you will die and, and, and rot in the grave and never be found again. But that's not going to happen because if Satan could have stopped the resurrection, he would have stopped the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But you see, he couldn't stop the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He couldn't stop the resurrection of the saints of old. And he's not going to stop the resurrection of the saints who are redeemed and saved under the blood covenant or even in the tribulation period. And if he can't stop them, he sure can't stop the resurrection of the lost. Those who are undone without the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he will be one of those that will be cast in the lake of fire. You see, I'm going to tell you something today that you need to realize is that if Satan could have stopped the resurrection, then lost so that you would have hope that this world would be the best that you'd have, then you would die and never be heard of again in, in the grave. But I'm going to tell you something. Because Jesus was resurrected, Satan could not stop that resurrection then you too shall be resurrected. And, but the only difference is that you'll be cast in the lake of fire for eternity. You'll be right there with Satan and all the demons of hell and all the ones that's gone on before the rich man that is talked about 
in, in the New Testament and all the others. You see, because Jesus Christ was resurrected, those who are redeemed through the blood of the Lamb, we have hope and blessed assurance knowing that we too shall be resurrected and that we'll walk on the streets of gold and that we'll live in the new Jerusalem for eternity because of Jesus Christ down on the cross of Calvary for us and we accept him as our Savior. But lost soul, if you leave this world lost, then you too will be resurrected at the great white throne of judgment and you will be cast into the lake of fire to burn for eternity. All will be resurrected. Those who are saved through the blood of Jesus Christ shall enter in the gates of heaven and live for eternity in the new Jerusalem. And all those who reject Jesus Christ as their Savior shall be resurrected and cast into the lake of fire. Yes, the Bible teaches that death, hell, and the grave gave up their dead and they were cast into the lake of fire. I hope and pray that you will listen to this and I hope and pray that you will realize that if, if you never accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, then you too will be resurrected, but you'll be cast in the lake of fire and burned for eternity. Only those who are redeemed through the blood of the Lamb shall enter in. And the only way that you can be redeemed through the blood of the Lamb is ask God to forgive you of your sins and ask Him to save your soul and have the precious blood of Jesus Christ applied to your life. This, this afternoon, or whatever you watch this, I hope and pray that if you're lost, that you'll realize that because of, of Easter, that you're going to go to hell unless you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. May God bless you, and I hope and pray that if you're lost, you'll ask Jesus to save your soul right now, and ask you to forgive your sins so that you'll be in the resurrection of the redeemed, and not the resurrection of the lost. May God bless you. And I hope and pray that I'll see everyone in heaven. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.